He's got it all figured out That's what they all say, yeah Everyone's looking at me thinking that I'm different Everyone's looking at me thinking that I'm living But I don't really care what that so this is a video about my stats. It will encompass my extracurriculars, my GPA, my test scores, my awards, my recommendations, and my interview. Quick disclaimer, your stats are not indicative of where you will get into or not. So don't try to compare yourself to others and don't shame people that have lower stats or don't think that you can't apply to a certain school just because you have certain stats. Like, be confident in yourself, man. Like, you are the G. So, just apply. You can take this as, like, an example of how one person got into, but, like, not specifically how you will get into because it depends from person to person. A couple of people were requesting this video on my DMs and emails and whatever. Like, I took long because... I didn't know where to film, if I even should film this, but okay, I'm here and I'm doing it. So first off, my personal and academic background. So as I said, I'm from Mozambique. Both of my parents did go to college. I've lived in Mozambique my whole life. I'm African, if you don't know where Mozambique is. I speak two languages, Portuguese and English. Portuguese is my first language. So second off my great GPA all that school nonsense so yeah uh, Mozambique's Mozambique's grading system is from 0 to 20 we don't have A's B's C's I don't even know how those work secondary school starts in grade 8 and finishes in grade 12 but high school in the US is only from 9 to 12 so like the grades that are submitted from were from grade 9 to 12 Grade 8, if we don't talk about My class ranking, it was 1 out of 30 when I was graduating and submitting my application. My GPA was, by the time I was graduating, was 19.15 out of 20. For grade 9, my average was of 18.02. For grade 10, I had an average of 19. I jumped a full point. Look at her, take her academics seriously. Grade 11, it was a 19.58. And grade 12, my average was 20. So that's that. So from what we, you could see, like the GPAs and like the grading system, they really vary from country to country. So like comparing yourself is not really that healthy. Just do like the best that you can do in your own academic environment because you know how your school works and how your country works you don't know what might be happening on the other schools so like just do your best bro now going on to awards so like i only put five the ones that were more representative or like my interests and the things that i thought that were more impactful in my own experience so my first award was second classified national mathematics olympiad so like that was a national award so the second one was unipu which means universal project olympiad silver medalist so yeah i basically participated in an olympiad and i had a silver medal for the chemistry department my third award which wasn't really a word, it was a nomination word, but it was like the 2019 Pan-African Youth Leadership Program nominee. The fourth one that I put was Yale Young African Scholars Alumni, which was like an international award or nomination or whatever, recognition. <laughs> The fifth one was Global Young Leaders Conference Distinguished Alumni Mozambique, which was an international award. Now on to what everyone is always asking me about, the sprinkles. <laughs> I look so dumb. But yeah, my test scores. So first off, the SAT. I took the SAT twice. Um, the second time I had a 1520 which was a 720 in reading and writing and an 800 in maths.
so yeah when you see this don't think that it was like easy and only like really smart people getting to those schools like your test scores really don't mean anything you need to be a better person like beyond your stats and everything like what do you do for your community what do you do for fun like that's what they care about and not some numbers i took two subject tests which were the physics and the math level two so i had a 740 on physics and an 800 on math okay so basically all of these tests were the reason of my stress during senior year bro like last year would be so easy if i didn't have to do all of these tests like i was a happy person until i had to come back home and study for them but they were worth it i guess yeah and i really advise you doing if you're an international student like doing the SAT subject tests if they're available to you because they really show to the admissions officers that you can really thrive on an American system, you know, because we have different systems right all around the world. Like they don't really know if your system is harder or easier than them. Like so that will help them put you into context but as i said that's what i think like it may differ from person to person some may think that it's useless but i don't think so i also took the ap calculus ab test and i had a five um that was the only ap available in my school and i think in my whole country like I was like the first class to ever take that test. On to my extra curriculums, the juicy stuff. I only to say that everything. I tried to organize them in a way of the ones that were like more important to me. My advice would be to like just do what like you're genuinely passionate about don't go around on youtube videos and like copying everything that other people are doing in the hopes that you will get in because trust me you won't because they will they will honestly know that you're just faking it for your college application just generally do things that are really important to you and that you really like doing so yeah don't waste your time bro like don't have a sad life just do things that are really interesting to you and when you find those things that are really interesting to you try to elevate them maybe like participate more in them or like try to look for opportunities to do those things beyond what is given to you like for example if you're into leadership like try looking on the internet leadership competitions conferences outside your country okay so my first activity is tennis i play it like three days per week i i played it before corona yeah and it was like the th that was like one of the most important activities for me but not necessarily the one that i spent more time in Put things that are important to you second one was canal ideas which was like a community organization that me and a couple of friends co-founded so yeah that was a pretty fun time great talk only yeah it was really fun we got to do a couple of events through that and like really to help my school community out the third one was Calopsia Cases, which was a business that me and a friend of mine, Jasmine, founded in like grade 10. We basically just sold cases and did a couple of things within that. I just did what I liked to do. And then when college application season came, I was like, okay, I will write down what i've done and, and then it was student council president for my grade but like when i was in grade 11 and in grade 12 so it was basically just organizing the senior graduation like the acts the dances everything basically like getting a place getting music dj choreographer but it was really fun yeah then I put science for society. So basically a friend of mine, dear Nyla. So yeah, she basically invited me to do this program with her and Wendila. So it was basically we taught uh, the sciences in a more practical way to students in my school because 
here we don't really have like we don't really do a lot of labs and those sort of things it's like more of like theoretical science so like we were trying to do it in a more practical way so that people actually understand what they're doing and what they're learning at school so yeah it, it was a really fun activity we did for like one week or two i don't remember <laughs> last year so it was like every day after school and it was basically biology, physics, and chemistry. Then nonprofit tutor. Um, so I tutored this girl when I was in grade 11 for her grade 10 national exams for like maths and physics. And then there was AP Calculus Club that was also the like Math Olympiad Club. And final, I was student government minister. So basically. Uh, my school had like one or two representatives from each class every year that were in the student government. So other factors that may have impacted my application. Um, I believe that those were like my recommendation letters. So like I asked my two favorite teachers to do my recommendations. They're the G's. So like they did my uh, recommendations for like physics and English. I think that through them, like the admissions officer or the team, I don't know who evaluates them, were able to like really see how I am in the school context and behind and beyond. They were able to picture me on their school, so like the types of things that I might be doing at Princeton. So I don't know, but I believe that the recommendations were really strong. I hope so. And since my school was so small, like it was really easy to know teachers on a personal level. So yeah, they were really my G's. At least I think so. Um, the other recommendation was from my director, but my director was also my chemistry teacher. So he really knew me. And I think that he did a really pretty good recommendation letter. And I was also on a community-based organization called Education USA. So it was basically used to facilitate us into getting to U.S. school. My advisor, Miss Carmen, she did a recommendation letter for me too. I also had an interview, which I thought that I wouldn't have, but I'm so glad that I had. And if you have the opportunity to have an interview, definitely do it. I have a whole video about it if you want to know, but I think that the recommendation that my interviewer did was also pretty good and was also a factor. So that was pretty much it. I'll be doing another video about my essays and stuff, except my common app essay because I feel that it was really personal. I don't know if I would be, I want to share it on YouTube and on the internet. Like, <laughs> okay, so I don't know if I'm missing anything, but I hope not. If you have any more questions, just like put them on the comments or anything, or just email me or stuff. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you on my next video. Walking downtown.